We first found out about Microsoft's interest in building a dual screen foldable way back in 2009 when they revealed their Microsoft Courier concept device. Over 10 years later, that dual screen foldable is a reality. Meet the Microsoft Surface Duo. The Surface Duo has dual AMOLED screens and a 360 degree hinge system that can transform the device into a variety of form factors. This is a novel idea even among fellow foldables, so we're very excited to crack this thing open and see how Microsoft finally realized their now 10 year old idea. A cursory inspection of the Surface this duo reveals a back cover where it's relatively easy to get an opening pick inserted, so that seems like a good place to start our opening procedures. The adhesive holding down the rear panel is deeper than we're used to though, requiring us to insert our picks almost halfway in just to get it cut all away. This adhesive is also extremely tough and stringy, making deep blind prying feel eerily similar to that dreaded feeling of slicing delicate cables. Ugh, not a great start. Freeing the rear panel, we spot a battery, which, hold on, I have no memory of disconnecting that. Oh, that's why. The cable's been pried right off the battery. It seems like the correct way of entering this device might be through the display. Since it's here, let's go ahead and take a look at this battery. This is the larger of the two batteries inside the Duo, and it's rated at 10.37 watt hours. And as far as I can tell, there are no adhesive tabs to make removal any easier for you if you disassemble your Surface Duo the correct way. Oh, and before we move on, since this duo is still working, no one in the comments is allowed to say we broke it. Let's just take a moment to check out this full x-ray of the device that we wish we had before we started taking things apart. Thanks to Creative Electron for building the machines that give us such a cool insider's perspective. So let's see how things would have gone if I had started with the display. We're still dealing with strong adhesive, and just like the back cover, I feel certain I'm tearing cables all over the place. The display is very thin and fragile, and even our thinnest opening tool is delaminating the display from the glass. At this point, maybe this video should just be a list of ways I can break this thing. With the last of the adhesive taken care of, we're able to lift the first display up and away, and miraculously, no cables were damaged in the process. Next to where that battery should be, there's a really thin circuit board. I'm guessing this is just an interconnect board to receive power, data, and a display signal from the other side of the device, where there's probably a larger board like we're used to seeing. Once we get that smaller circuit board out, we find the rest of the battery cable. Rest in peace, little guy. Now that we know how we should get in, let's hope that's the last casualty of the day. I'm gonna move on to the second display and see what's hiding on the other side of the duo. Things are much easier now that I'm entering into the correct side of the device, and the disassembly process is much smoother. Repeating the same process of heating and gentle prying, we're able to get our second display off. While this side has a much smaller battery, which we'll go ahead and disconnect, keeping the cable intact this time, we've got a much bigger board which we'll start freeing by disconnecting some cables, and removing a ton of screws which are securing it. Annoyingly, there are several very thin cables that run from the buttons along the side and the port at the bottom that are glued down and covered with stickers and foam. With all of that taken care of, the motherboard is mostly free, but some very sturdy tape running underneath the battery and stuck to the back of the motherboard complicates taking it all the way out. Finally, the motherboard is out and we can finally get a look at the chips that drive the Surface Duo. Right away, we spot the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 layered under 6GB of SK Hynix DRAM, and just below it, 128GB of Toshiba flash storage. Finally, a little alcohol helps me loosen the adhesive securing the second, smaller battery. This little guy is a 2.89 watt hour, which brings the duo's total battery capacity to 13.26 watt hours. With that, we've reached the end of our disassembly. We broke more things than we'd like, but honestly, it probably wasn't our fault. Which brings us to repairability. The Surface Duo scored a 2 out of 10 on a repairability scale, thanks to its glued in batteries that require a lot of disassembly to get to, a soldered USB C port, especially delicate OLED panels, and stubborn glue pretty much everywhere. If you enjoyed watching us break our Surface Duo during this teardown and are still dying for more content, head on over to ifixit.com to check out our written teardown that includes a peek inside the 360 degree hinge. But before you go, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. It's teardown season and we have a lot of amazing content coming up soon.